Well, a GPU launch day wouldn't be complete without a Linus Tech Tips evaluation of the temperatures of the new card under idle and load conditions. So remember that the load that I'm going to show you today is going to be kind of a worst case scenario running Furmark and the idle is, well, that's, that's a pretty typical scenario, but it's still a bit of a best case because I am running on an open test bench and your CPU, CPU, wow your computer case is actually going to keep things a little bit toastier than an open test bench just because of the recycling of the air that's being used to cool the components. So our idle temperature for this brand new GPU from NVIDIA is actually 38 degrees and it does that at a fan speed of about 40%, well exactly 40%, which equates to almost 1400 RPM and uh, Yeah, so that's fairly straightforward, isn't it? So I'll show you the low temperatures as well as compare it to its predecessor, which was often criticized for running too hot, the GTX 480. For the GPU load comparison on the GTX 580, you can see I've got Furmark running here in extreme burning mode, and uh, you can see the uh, the rise in temperature while I held a piece of paper over the intake of the fan so that it wouldn't so that it would heat up pretty quickly so that I could get my results and uh, you can see it actually settled down into a temperature of 69 degrees Celsius okay you can see that is backed up by afterburner over here with the fan running at about 53 to 54 percent which is about uh, 1920 rpm so that's not bad at all and that's quite cool compared to other Fermi based cards. Mind you, this is GF110, not GF100 that we're talking about. It's a whole new beast. The idle reading for the GTX 480 really does tell the story. Despite this card being significantly less powerful than the 580, it runs significantly, and I am overusing that word, hotter than the GTX 580 so it idles at a whopping 47 degrees and that's with a fan RPM of over 1500 RPM. Bear in mind these are using a fairly similar fan although the cooler design is quite different because the GTX 480 uses heat pipes whereas the GTX 580 actually uses a vapor chamber design that is hidden by the plastic shroud. So if you weren't aware already, yes, GTX 480's reputation for running toasty is well enough deserved. So we've got the fan RPM up around uh, almost 3000 RPM with a speed of 71%. And we are still at 92 degrees. That's very, very hot, especially considering we are running on an open test platform in a reasonable temperature room. Now when you have a GTX 480 running non-stop in, uh, in a normal size room it will actually heat up the room several degrees so uh, that fan is actually going to go higher when it's inside a case in a warmer room. So the GTX 580 is a huge improvement over the GTX 480 in that regard. I sure wish I had something newer from AMD to compare against the GTX 580. Uh, wink wink, nudge nudge, but I guess the 5870 will just have to do for now. So you can see we're running at about 38 degrees and that is with a fan speed percentage of only about 20%. So we'll show you the load temperatures and uh, that'll be in just a moment. So I guess we kind of know this already, but there we go, the 5870 been on the market for a while. It loads at about 85 degrees with a fan speed of, yeah, only about 37%. So you could tweak the fan profile a little bit if you wanted, set it up so that that fan ramps up a little bit more and gives you uh, better temperatures, but honestly it's not necessary. It's designed to run just fine at that temperature. Like I said, we'll have something better to compare this with the uh, 580 against, compare against the 580 from AMD fairly soon. Thank you for checking out my video on the temperatures of the GTX 580 against its nearest competitors in the single GPU market. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.